Hi, and welcome to my Bool tutorial series, episode one, focused on the fling and general setup. A um, couple things I want to note before we jump into the meat of it. First thing, HCM, Halo Checkpoint Trainer, very useful tool. It will allow you to do things like create core saves, which you can then actually dump for later injection. So I'll call that one test. Um, you can see it right there, and I can actually uh, inject this and just load it and just generally lets you practice things a lot easier. I'll leave a link to this in the description below. See, I already have a bunch. Very useful tool, especially for learning bool. You're not going to get any checkpoints, so trust me, you need it. Uh, second thing is when you do deload on Legendary and you're doing the super slide down, when you're flying back to go hit the button and undo the deload, there's a checkpoint trigger right here that you skipped by doing the super slide. Just make sure you fly a little low, hit it, and then fly back up. See, I got the checkpoint right there. Uh, if you don't do that, the checkpoints get pretty broken on this level, and you can't get a... Well, you can get a really good checkpoint up there, but it'll be a lot harder, especially on Legendary. Um, you, you can't do this on easy, I'm going to note, because you don't do deload. You just fly straight up, so you'll have to delay a checkpoint there. But I wanted to point this out. You get a very, very nice checkpoint, as you'll see in the next part. Okay, welcome to the next part. Um, first things first, if you're on easy, this is where you want to start delaying a checkpoint. Um, as you're going to do the first pulse generator, just shoot a bunch, throw nades, whatever you got to do. On legendary, if you hit that checkpoint trigger, like I said, you don't have to do that, which will make this a lot nicer. So, um, first things first. Once you hit about this point, you're going to get a bunch of black bars, like so. Go under your Banshee that you set up. And now, right here, I'll wait for the bars to subside, is where you're going to get a checkpoint trigger on Legendary if you hit that um, if you hit that checkpoint trigger down below like I told you to. So if I walk out, I'll get a checkpoint just like that. Um, you can delay this even further by overcharging. If my plasma pistol wasn't garbage, there we go. If I overcharge it, you'll see once that pops, I'll get the checkpoint. Boom, just like that. Uh, don't throw a grenade. Don't do this. This is bad. Um, it'll delay it way longer than you want to because the plasma will stay in the air. It can also aggro enemies. It's not good. Don't do that. So um, just go ahead and delay it like that. And now here's the actual setup portion. You're going to want the Banshee to be somewhere in this general area um, in front of the door. There's two ways you can do this. The easier way is park it just right there. That's one way you can do it. Uh, very noob friendly. A second way is the way that I do it, which is, and many other runners do it, which is I basically aim the nose of the Banshee into that corner right there. Um, and I get out. I'll show you what that looks like. So nose the Banshee into that corner and I'm like getting out and it bounces back and you can see it lands right in a great spot um, for, for, the, for the door setup of this second Banshee. Um, I'll show you what this looks like with the checkpoint delay. And what's great about this is now you have a checkpoint right in front of the Banshee for fling. So if you mess it up, which you will when you're first learning this, uh, you're right back where you were. All right, now for the moment we've all been waiting for. Banshee is set up. We're ready to do our fling out of bounds. Uh, I'm going to show you two methods to do this. Uh, the one that I used when I first learned it and the one that I currently use sort of adapted from that. I'll show you both of them. Um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to unload this portion, load in the reactor portion out of bounds and then get inside the Banshee and it'll be out of bounds. Uh, so that's basically what we're trying to do. So first things first, get this Banshee snug into this nook here. You can see this little corner and I'm just holding W the whole time. You can see on my input capture, just holding W. I'm just nice and snug in the nook. You don't need to look down or anything like that. Just look straight, just like that. So first method. I used to do is look up and then rotate to the left so look up rotate to the left and i'll show you what you're looking for but first i'll just show you what it looks like looks kind of like that and then you're landing right about on that beam right there um you can le you can land on the closer beam if you want as well the one right here whichever one you want to land on doesn't really matter um you just have to jump over here instead. So that's the first method of doing it. And I'll show you what you're looking for with my recording. So notice how I'm looking up and then I spin. So here's here's the light that you're looking for. It's like almost the center light. Um, and you can see the top of your Banshee triangle. The top right of that triangle, you want to be along this light. You can see right there as I'm going up into the ceiling. 
my the the top right corner is along this light you don't want it to be over here you don't want it to be over here you want it to be right along this light and that'll give you the good fling um probably notice a problem i lost all my shield i got a lot of height and i kind of slid this is why i don't do this method anymore i'm going to show you an alternative method the one that i currently use um, which is instead of looking up and to the left i do it simultaneously so i look almost diagonal so instead of up to the left look diagonal i'll show you what that looks like and it gives me a lot less height so i look diagonal there see how much less height i got gave me the perfect i don't slide too much didn't take too much damage um, so those are the two ways that you can do it. Um, pick whichever one you're getting more consistency with. Watch what other runners do. Try to mimic that. And this is just how I do it. So my current method, get in the nook, diagonal. Do it all at the same time. Get that, get that triangle along that light. And boom, that's how you do the fling. Okay, and once we're here, flung out of bounds, now we want to load in the reactor portion, which we can do by being here and crouching. Just simple crouching, and uh, that'll load in the reactor portion. In fact, you can even see the sentinels in new graphics. You can't actually see anything in old graphics. That's why you got to be in new graphics. Um, and now that canyon portion is unloaded, so we want to platform our way over to that banshee we set up without loading that portion back in. Uh, this final jump can be a little tricky, but what you're aiming for is this corner of the door. You want to land to the right of the corner. You don't want to be to the left of it because then it really... it sometimes we'll let you in sometimes we'll not let you in the banshee like if you land really far to the left you'll either load it in or if you manage to not load it in it won't let you in the banshee see how it didn't give me the prompt and let me in the banshee there's some weird physics shenanigans going on there what you want to do is land to the right you can see that corner right there land just to the right of it right about here this is perfect it's like this little cubby right here to the right of this corner right there then you just simply get in the banshee and you're completely out of bounds. There's one more subtlety I want to mention. The second you get in the Banshee, look forward and switch to old graphics like that. The reason you want to do that is you'll notice the hallway is now loaded back in. I did that a little improperly. Let me do that again. Look forward, switch to old graphics, and it'll load in the hallway portion for you. So um, very, very subtle but important thing you want to do. Just like that. There we go. That was correct. So you want to look forward, switch to old graphics. See, the whole hallway portion is now rendered in old graphics. That's why you want to do that. Uh, if you don't do that, it's going to make later portions of Bool a lot harder because you can't actually see where you want to go after you do all the triggers. So subtlety that you want to do. Um, platform to here, land to the right, get in, look forward. Switch to old graphics, load in the hallway, and you're now completely out of bounds. That's uh, that's how you set up Bool. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to go over uh, the triggers, which there'll be quite a lot of show and tell for that. I'll show you where all the triggers are and how to fly through them. So uh, thanks for watching.